today uh, to welcome Dr. Jill Biden, our next First Lady of the United States. Right here in our backyard. It is so good to see her again. She was the first person on the campaign trail amongst all the campaign spouses. Uh, to give me a hug, to jump out of her seat. At the first debate, I walked into that room like a stage mom. I was so nervous uh, for my husband, and then there's Jill Biden. She leapt out of her chair, she gave me a hug, she welcomed me to the political spouse arena, uh, and I'd like to say we've been friends since. And it means a lot to see her right here in Traverse City. Uh, as, as much as I would love to talk about uh, all the ins and outs of running for president, we've got to get down to brass tacks. We've got 30 something days left, and you can vote right. Now, in this yes. I grew up here. This is my home. This is my backyard. And I know what it's like to grow up in a place where you're not quite sure if you fit in. And not only am I excited for folks like Dan O'Neill to be elected here in Traverse City, but I'm excited to have a leader and a teacher and empathetic, loving first lady in the East Wing <laughs> as well. We have to elect Joe Biden because people right here in our backyard are depending on that kind of leadership. A leadership that looks to that young gay kid in Traverse City and says you belong, that looks to that cherry farmer out here Sutton's Bay just like my grandfather had. A farm right off Shady Lane that says, I've got your back. We need that leadership in Washington. And as a teacher, I am so excited to see Jill Biden in the East Wing because we all know that teachers get stuff done. Yes! Chastin. You know, I met Chastin, as he was saying, coming off the first debate, of the stage of the first debate, and right away I knew that we would get along. I mean, how could we not, right? We're both teachers, dog lovers, writers, and of course, of course, we're both navigating this really crazy world of being a candidate spouse. So, um, Chastin, you know, it's been such a joy getting to know you, and, and Joe and I are so grateful to have your support. So um, 